motivation for the music was first of all the rhythms. You know, like it captivates you. It's funky, it's got all those things. Sometimes you don't know what it is, it's making you move so much. Anyone who listens to Afrobeat always, would always tell you, man, I don't know what it is about that tune, man, that really grabs me because it almost encompasses all forms of music, you know. So I tend to always call it classical music. It's a classical African music, and it, it belongs to every human, you know? Because if, if you look at history, or at least if we, try to, if we try to look at the truth about history, we know that we all come from one place, you know, we all have our lineage back to the motherland, you know, human history and how we evolved. That's why we all gravitate towards that kind of music. Very long time ago. Um, for me, it was like it was just a dream come true. I mean, growing up in Nigeria in Lagos, I was always in that circle of people who really wanted to participate in being part of the change. Personally, I thought leaving the country was at least a personal solution. I could, I could get away from this mess, you know. Come to America, um, land of opportunity, <laughs> place where you work your ass off. <laughs> With everybody's different, but if you can accept that, and you know, and, and and that's part of what makes this country great is, I mean, my parents are from overseas, and you know, they they emigrated to the United States, and you know, it's they would they wouldn't go back in a in a, at all. I have son-in-laws that are from South America. Hi, <laughs> who have given me some beautiful grandchildren. I mean, my family's a blend of, of everything now. You know, I have a, a brother that married a Mexican girl, and now she has. They have four kids that are all grown through college. I say they're Scottish with a year-round tan. It's a, just a great opportunity that we take in lots of people, lots of diversity. I believe it's fine to be a melting pot, but I believe that if you become come to America, you need to be American. You need to speak English. It doesn't mean you shouldn't know any others. English is the language of the US, but in Sweden, they learn both Swedish, which is their language, and English. English can be the official language but not the only language. I don't think there's anything wrong with being able to speak English. I don't think there's anything wrong with being able to order like Mexican food in Spanish at the taqueria. And I think it's excellent if they learn the language of the place, but if they don't have the means to do it, we have to just bear with it. We could all use sign language. You no, know, we're really Americanized and stuff, but we still eat. You know, Vietnamese food. I love Vietnamese food. I'm not a big fan of American food, seriously, because I don't like cheese. And so I, I eat cheese steak and I just eat without cheese. Everyone's like, okay, whatever. <laughs> Here's the Philly cheese steak. Your choice, with American or provolone, with onions or without. When you start putting mushrooms, peppers, you killed it. That's not the authentic Philly cheese steak. Everything's simple. I'm gonna go like this, point. Here's your liquid cheese. And that's going through your arteries. So, and these guys are getting triple whiz. Then they go down, whiz on the fries. And then I love when they say, give me a diet soda. I say, go all the way. You know what I mean? You're going to buy a Cadillac, get the motor too. <laughs> well, like I said, I started in 1966. I opened it up with $6 to my name. The same sandwich you're paying $7 for was 45 cents at that time. What happened, like I said, that sign's been up here from Lisa. Then. When I put it up, I just put it up, I thought it was... Cute little thing at the time, speak English. If you can't speak it, the sign means nothing. You think so? I didn't see how I was even, and never even entered in my mind until the newspapers brought it up as an issue. Because guess what? Most people between me, you, and the wall in that county, across the country, don't even give a shit about the word please. Don't serve them, they don't speak English. That's how bad it's gotten in this country. He said, if you move it over to, no, I don't move nothing. You're too dumb to see that these are two different signs. Don't you think I would have made it all blue? He's a white guy, I don't like him. Hey, no problem. You're black. I don't like him. <laughs> he must be a racist. Why is that? Because you're of color and I didn't like you. Maybe I didn't like you because you picked your nose. Treat me like a gentleman, I'm going to treat you. I don't give a shit what color you are. But if you're an idiot, I don't care what color you are, I'm going to treat you like an idiot. And if you go around murdering, I don't care if you're black, white, or pink. I want you in the death penalty if you're, you're whacking out people for no reason. Like I said, nobody's ever been turned away. Nobody will ever get refused a cheesesteak. But by not knowing the language, you just might not get what you thought you ordered. Sometimes I get ahead of myself. You know, I'm just that kind of a guy. You know, I'm a very emotional type guy, you know. 
Right, Father? That was tough to hear. When he was being attacked early on, I said, you've got to be kidding me. This guy is the model businessman, the model community guy. You watch these fields right across the street here, Joey's name, his business, the, the, the scoreboard all paid for by Joe. Look who plays on these fields here, right? All the new immigrants from all over the world. The American people is all I'm concerned about. And we have room in this, la in this country for one language, and that's the English language. I'm a firm believer of that. So maybe deep down, I'm sending a little message at the same time. Yeah, I'm a proud American. I speak the language. So anybody that does read that sign and is offensive when they read it, they just might not be that true American that they claim they are. But I agree with Joey. It's false compassion not to do that. You can't be successful in this country. You exclude yourself from so many jobs if you don't speak the language. Just like you said, if you come here, you want to simulate, learn the language, the, the opportunities are there. Everybody, you work hard, you will get the opportunity to be successful. And even that, there are times that not everybody's going to be successful. But the opportunity, working hard gives you the opportunity. The opportunities come.